Hello friends, welcome to Unity Essentials video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing Unity's user interface. We understood that UI or user interface is a place where the user interacts, the application user interacts. To see the Unity's user interface, we know that we have to create a new project or we have to open the already created project. So what I do, I open the first 3D project so that we can see the Unity's user interface. I double click on the Unity shortcut available on the desktop. I click on the first 3D project name. You can see that Unity's user interface got launched and at present the first 3D project is open. We know that Unity's user interface or UI is divided into four parts. At the top we have the title bar. Below the title bar we have the menu bar. Below the menu bar we have the toolbar. Below the toolbar, we have arrangement of various panels or windows, which is actually called as a layout. In this video tutorial, we discuss the first one, that is the title bar. We understand the purpose of the title bar. So let's get started. If you take any window based application like Notepad, MS Word or Photoshop, they all are going to have the title bar. What's the title bar purpose? Title bar is typically meant to display the information about the application. That is, title bar is generally going to display the application logo, application name and its version. Sometimes it may show the bit size and uh, it is going to show the file name or the document name with which you are working and it is going to have the minimize, maximize and close button to close the user interface, minimize or maximize, right? Here we have the title bar in the Unity user interface. Let's discuss what it is displaying here. In the title bar, you see the Unity's logo or the Unity icon with a context menu. If you click on this logo, you get a context menu for minimizing, maximizing, closing the user interface. Beside the logo, you see the application name and the version. Sometimes you may see the application bit size, whether it is a 32-bit application or 64-bit application. Beside the Unity application name and version, you see the scene with which you are working. Beside the scene name, you see the project name. And beside the project name, you see the target build platform. And beside the target build platform, you see the graphics processing API used by the graphics processing unit. And on the right hand side, you have minimize, maximize and close buttons. Let's discuss each of these parts step by step. Uh, here we have the Unity logo or the Unity icon. If I click on that, we get the context menu. If I click on this minimize command, Unity user interface get minimized and I can maximize it. I click again on the logo, say restore. Now the user interface is in the restore mode. When the user interface is in the restore mode, we can change the size of the UI. I click on this logo again and click on the maximize. You can see the user interface got maximized. It takes the entire area of the desktop. A same thing you can do here with these buttons. I can minimize, I can maximize, I can restore. In the restore mode, we can change the size of the user interface. I can maximize it. If I want to close the application, I can close by clicking on this close button or I can go to this uh, Unity logo, open the context menu, click on this uh, close command or I can go to file and say exit. Beside the logo, we have the Unity application name and the version. It is selling you are using Unity 5.5.3. And beside the application name, it is showing the scene name. We know what is a scene, right? A scene in Unity indicates game screen or a game level or a film scene. It indicates a splash screen or welcome screen or a menu screen, level one, boss level or a climax scene. We know that whenever we want to create a new game screen or a game level or a film scene, we create a new scene in Unity, right? Here it is showing that at present you are working with an untitled scene. That means a scene which is not yet saved. We can save the scene by going to file, say save scene as, I save the scene in the assets folder with the name first scene because scenes are also assets guys. And every scene is going to have the file extension .unity. I click on the save button. You see in the assets folder, there is a first scene created. And here it is showing first scene. And here it is showing first scene .unity. Hope you understood how do you save the scene. 
beside the scene name you see the project name first 3d project and beside the project name it shows the target build platform unity supports wide variety of platforms if i go to file click on the build settings it is showing here the platforms uh, that the unity supports it supports pc mac linux you can create an application or a game for ios platform you can create an application for android you can create an application or a game for web game for xbox playstation see so these are all platforms at present in the title bar you are seeing the project that you are building is for pc that means when you build your project you get an executable file .exe the executable file is a, a product right so what is actually a build we know that build is the final product right what is the meaning of building building means the process of converting your project to a product the process of converting your project to a product is called as building so you can generate an exe file which is a build for windows platform you can generate an .apk file apk stands for android package which is a build for the android platform so if your target platform is pc then you generate a exe file .exe file which is a build for the windows platform hope you understood what is the meaning of build and uh, the target build platform and the different platforms that the unity supports beside the build platform you see the graphics api used by the graphics processing unit you know what is gpu we know that gpu stands for graphics processing unit that indicates the graphics card in your machine graphics card is a hardware gpu is a hardware responsible for processing the multimedia like graphics video etc etc in the market you see different graphics cards or gpus like nvidia radeon right a graphics processing unit or a graphics card is going to use a graphics processing api api stands for application program interface for different platforms you get uh, different apis uh, now directx is for windows platform directx is a application program interface it is a software used by the gpu to handle tasks related to the multimedia that is uh, graphics and video we have uh, some more examples uh, for application program interface like ios metal for ios platform we have nvidia vr works and amd liquid vr for uh, virtual reality applications or the platforms so hope you understood what is this dx stands for it's a directx 11 version used by the graphics processing unit in my uh, system here i hope you guys have clearly understood uh, what the title bar is and uh, what it is displaying in your unity user interface hope you understood each of these parts of the title bar i think uh, for this video tutorial this much is enough friends in the upcoming video tutorials we get more information on unity i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly if you have any doubts please do not hesitate to post the comments for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial